going to Edo Open Air Museum. So we're heading there right now. We're really looking forward to it. Have fun! <laughs> Look at this, it's so cute! It's just a little path in the middle of the tree. This is the entrance of the museum and as you can see the building right here it was built in 1940 to celebrate the 2600 years of the birthday of the Emperor Jimnu. So the building was built in 1940 and then the next year it was moved here as it stands now for the entrance of the museum. So this is the oldest building of the facility. Uh, so it was built at the end of the Edo period. It may look like nothing, like there's little nothing, just pillars. But actually, the room is located just up there inside the roof. So why is it? It's because for the mouses, for the water and humidity, and for the wind. It's been used a lot. Still is used sometimes, and it's called it's called Takagura, Takai, meaning high. So you can see it. And the entrance is just up here, and you use a ladder to climb up. So here is the museum, and it is said that it's as inspired for Ghibli movies. For example, in Chihiro, you can see the colors red, green, gold, and it appears especially in the scene with Yubawa. And the kind of atmosphere is like you could see like monster or yokai coming out of it. You can see uh, just creatures up there. So the atmosphere is kind of different. So we are now in another really old building from the end of the Edo period. And now we are about to enter. And since the floor is made of tatami, we actually have to get off the shoes. So we're gonna enter without shoes, just like this. On the tatami floor. <laughs> so here we have a place which you can find in big houses and important places which contains a kakejiko, which is a hanging scroll with a citation or something, and writings. And you have all the decorations and it's a place where you can meet people and, and talk and show your wares. And this is a traditional Japanese door. It's not like in Europe, for example, it's sliding. See? It's called a shoji and it's made of paper, so it's really nice. And you can see the light come through. It's really nice. It's pretty. Hey. <laughs> so this is where they were making the fire in order to boil water for tea, because tea has always been very important in Japan. It was always also used for nabe. It's a big pot with a lot of food inside. So they were hanging it like that over the fire to make it warm. We have arrived at Mitsui House. It was a very big family starting from Edo, where they were already eating the shogun a lot with wares and goods. And then during the Meiji, 
they actually help them make new companies. And right now, it's such a big family to have companies almost everywhere. Almost everything has part of Mitsui. So first, there was just the main building, and then later on, it's been added a storage, which made the house much bigger than it first was. It got bigger and bigger, and now it's really a big family. And this is the house. So this is the room that has held meetings with important people, but also with the family. And they were also taking dinners here. So you can see it's more European. We've got chairs and tables. And it's it's real bridge decoration. Like you can see all the sliding doors behind the paintings and even the ceiling, which is decorated. Everything is just so pretty. So you can see the family was really wealthy and it was pretty impressive during those meetings. see the garden just from the room and it's beautiful Japanese garden so it's typical you can see the balance in everything it's a garden but still it looks so natural you've got stones with small water falling down all the trees are cut nicely so it's extremely pretty and poetic really. This garden is quite famous and you can understand why when you look at it. It's just so calm and so well balanced. Typically Japanese garden. So waiting for the bus. So this is actually the bus that runs through Meiji until the beginning of Showa. It's it's very really impressive. I mean, look at those big wheels. It's, it feels so small next to it. <laughs> So we have arrived at the Tokiwadai Photo Studio, which is one of the first photo studio of Japan. So the windows here are special and we're going to see that from inside. So let's go in. Just the wind coming in right now. So inside the photo studio and as you can see the atmosphere is so pretty. Get the wind, the night feeling. It's it's really a nice place. So we are on the first floor of the Tokiwadai studio and this is the place where the children were studying as you can see in the chairs. So we are at the outside of the Tokiwadai photo studio and what's interesting is the window up there, which as you can see is really big. And that's the second floor where the photo studio was. On the fourth floor, the family was living and up there was the studio. And the window is so big, so a lot of light can enter the room. Because at that time, the photo, it wasn't just like now you just press a button and the photo is taken. It was taking a very long time. So people needed to stand for a long time and they needed especially the light for exposure. So that's why we had those big windows that allowed light to enter for a long period of time. Okay. Big one. So now we have arrived at the house of De La Lande, which was actually, as you can see, it's still in Japanese. It was a German architect.
and in this house lived the inventor of Kelpis and Kelpis, I've got one here, is actually a milky beverage from Japan. So it's made with milk and the pattern is said to represent the Milky Way. So I think it's pretty fitting. <laughs> And now in this building, we're gonna have lunch, so let's go! Mm, it's really good. The taste is much stronger than the one you can buy in supermarket, for example. Like it's the real coffee, you know. So it's actually hot. This is sweet potatoes and azuki beans and I didn't expect it but it's, it's actually warm and this is also typical Japanese it's really good so. <laughs> it's really good I love the fact that it's warm but the cream is cold it's so good I love the sweet potatoes. <laughs> so this is the house of Takahashi Korekiyo. He was Prime Minister of Japan and the Minister of Finance. So let's go inside and have a look. So this is the room where sadly he was assassinated. So which is known by Nini Roku in Japanese the incident. So on the 26th of February 1936, because he refused to give more money to the army, they actually made the they decided to assassinate him and it happened in this room which is it's really sad I think because it looks like such a nice person and actually his name in Japanese they call him like Daruma-san Daruma is the kind of round shape and it says that if it moves even seven times on the eighth time it's gonna stand straight again and it was just like him because he went to America, he went to Peru, he went to a lot of places and even if he failed he tried again and in the end he managed just so much he always stand up after that so that's why he got that name so it was a really sad incident but it happened right here in this room 